In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to remove your camshaft sensor and your camshaft uh, magnet adjuster. Uh, here is the before and after. Usually you get codes of P0010 through P0025. So anything with adjuster or magnet uh, in your code uh, check engine light, this is what you want to do. So A2720501. 77 is the part number. Uh, this is 0607 and up for all Mercedes. So whether you have an ML, GL, C class, E class. But you, of course, you always want to make sure and uh, call Mercedes or check online. So this, what you'll need is a one fourth little uh, wrench and also a E Torx uh, bit and a flathead screwdriver so I'm going to show you where the four cam sensor adjuster magnets are one's here this is the easy one the two on the passengers are very easy to access to so one down there they're pretty much triangle three bolt little thing three and four and these are the driver one which are a lot more difficult to get to especially with this one behind the power steering uh, canister and this one's not too bad with the one fourth uh, wrench and this is the little uh, gray tab gray tab and that's how you kind of differentiate them, differentiate them from the other sensors in there and this is how you remove them you just with the flat head kind of lift up the gray tab and just squeeze and pull so this one that's giving me problems little oil is leaked in it you can see I'll show you guys all the codes and the check engine codes in the description below as well as the Amazon parts cheapest from Amazon I tried third party but Amazon is just way more reliable so here's your E8 Torx bit three of them top two are pretty easily accessible uh, here's a one fourth wrench and your E8 Torx bit right there So this fits perfectly with the E8, and even this one on the left side right here is links it a lot easier unless you have a small Torx E8 bit, which I did not. And you could also use the close end to give it a good mount. And I don't have the exact uh, Torx specs, but it's pretty much a little, little arm strength, nothing too crazy. You don't want to crack anything or mess up the seals. And of course you want to use a magnet just to make sure uh, you don't drop any of those bits or they'll end up in a hard place to reach. You might have to remove your uh, plastic cover underneath if you do drop it. Uh, put a little rag in there as you can see just to catch any little oil. But if your engines cool down overnight, yeah, you shouldn't have no problem with much oil at all. And I just use a little flathead to kind of pry it. And you want to pry the bottom as well to get it really loose and there we go now of course you want to remove the sensor to the right which is the camshaft sensor that they talk to each other so obviously you can see right here it's not wiggling out there's no way to get it so you want to remove this little sensor here pretty straightforward just one e eight Torx bit on the bottom of it and then pull straight out and it was that easy here's the old one and here's the new one lube it up a little bit with some oil and you are set uh, put in the camshaft sensor and then the camshaft magnet sensor thank you